Hey, what's going on guys? So in today's video, we're actually gonna go ahead and build a bot. So let's define some of the rules for this bot. First and foremost, the use case is I want this bot to go and pay my internet and TV bill. So what it's gonna do is we're gonna build some auto login functionality. It's gonna go ahead and check the balance. If there is a balance with a predefined threshold that I put in, it's gonna pay it with my credit card. Now, if there's no balance, it's gonna log me out and it's gonna print no payment required. And all the sensitive data that I'm gonna have, my credit card information, my name, and anything to validate the payment process is gonna be held in a secret stop.py file. Last, we're gonna leverage Selenium to do this in Python. So it's demo time. Let's take a look and see how this works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch this in my interactive terminal. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and open a browser very quickly and I'm using Firefox to go ahead and log me in and authenticate me. So right now it's gonna go on the top right and click that login button. And if you notice on the, on the right is my mouse cursor. So that shows you that I am actually not touching anything. This is in fact a bot doing this. So it's gone ahead and logged me in based on the credentials that I had in my secret Zopi file. Now I obviously masked all my personal information out of here. Uh, next, what it's gonna do is it's already gone ahead and seen that I actually have a balance of $123. So now it's going through the payment process and we'll walk through that in the code later on. And now it's gone ahead and selected to pay this using my credit card. Again, my credit card detail is saved in my secret Zopi. It's gonna go ahead and validate that one more time. It's gonna say, all right, I wanna go ahead and pay that 123 and now it's paid so confirmation that it's been paid and now i'm logging out so i'm going to run this process again one more time because this time what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to show that i have a zero balance and it's supposed to log me out immediately and just display on the screen that there's no payment required so let's see what it does it's going to go ahead and click login again once it's logged me in so it's going ahead and logging me in again and now it shows zero dollars. So technically it should just hit that log out button up on the top right. My mouse isn't gonna go there. It's gonna automatically just log me out, which it's done. And it should close this window. And as you can see over here, it is actually written that there's no payment required because my balance is zero dollars. And that's how the bot is supposed to work. And don't forget that if you like this kind of content and enjoy it, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and hit that bell notification. So now let's go through some of the code. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in all my different dependencies. And really for this, I'm using Selenium and that's just about it. I opted in to use WebDriver and Chrome Driver because sometimes I switch between the two, but for the most part, I use Firefox. Um, and in here, I'm bringing in a whole bunch of different uh, dependencies. Uh, the other one is time that we're gonna use for time.sleep, as well as my secrets file, which is gonna have all my credit card information in there as well. So first, let's go ahead and create a class for Bell, and that's the provider that I'm with. And in that, I'm gonna pass self, username, and password. Um, I've also set something called a timeout, and that's when I use my wait command within Selenium. Uh, just basically says that, you know, timeout after X number of seconds, so I just define timeout as 60. Passing in my username, credit card detail, all defining that to self in case I need to use it again. Um, and in this constructor function, really what I'm doing is I'm building all my login functionality. So anytime that I run another method after this, it's automatically going to log me in first because without logging in, there's not a whole lot I can do. This is just using uh, XPath really to go ahead and pull the path for it. Um, and just for, so you know, WebDriver wait is really used uh, in a scenario where you want something to load first or something that's clickable first. Really good if you have JavaScript like Ajax forms and stuff like that. So I used it for that. And now this is just a login. So now let's go ahead and test this. This is what the code is gonna do. It's gonna click that login button up top. It's gonna go ahead and log me in. And that is what this constructor function does. As soon as it logs me in, that's it. That's all it does. Now we're gonna go ahead and build some of the other methods below it. The next one is we're gonna go ahead and get the balance. We're gonna go ahead and do and get the zero balance because I def decided to make this video after I paid my bill. So it's gonna show a zero balance. But basically in this, what we're doing is we're going ahead and getting the amount field. Uh, as soon as you log in, it's gonna show zero dollars and zero cents. And that's where I'm pulling it from. And then I'm saying, go ahead and display that for me and print it out for me. So let's go ahead and run that. And there's a small error here. The return function here should be on the next line, but that's corrected in the code that I'm gonna put on GitHub. So 
Over here you see zero dollars and zero cents and that's really where it's pulling from. So in this case we don't have a balance so it's just going to log me out. And as you can see it shows balance zero dollars and it says no payment required. And finally if there is a payment I'm going to go ahead and make a method that it says get payment or make payment in this case where it's going to go and it's going to take all the relevant information that I need including my credit card details. Um, when you go on the form it actually asks you whether you want to pay through your bank or whether you want to pay through a credit card so it picks the right button in order for you to do that which we'll review very shortly again um, and once you do that then it's going to go ahead and pay by my credit card so let's just watch this go through and i have to say building these bots is uh, a lot of fun to do you get to really learn your selenium skills but at the same time um, what I'm going to do is eventually I'm going to put this on one of my Linode servers um, and it's not just going to be for this bill payment or this vendor it's going to be for all of them or it's just going to check it every 15 days to see whether I have a bill payment or not and as long as that payment amount lines up with what I'm regularly paying every month it's going to go ahead and pay it itself I've had a few cases where I've just forgot to pay for that specific month so I get an interest charge on it probably never going to have that again after this is done which is great for me so the other thing you're going to notice is I'm going to put a time.sleep and it's important to put that because sometimes the page takes a couple of seconds to load and if you go ahead and execute your next command too early it'll just throw an error. So there's probably some more error checking out even put against this like like throw and try accept locks but I didn't do that for the purpose of this I wanted to keep it very simple and straightforward. Um, and I think we should be coming very close to the end because right now it's asking me to go ahead and select the expiry date and all that other fun stuff. So I'm going to just fast forward through this. Cool. Now it's going to go ahead and print out bill is paid. And then finally, once it does that, it's going to go ahead and automatically log me out from that screen. And then it's going to close the browser window. And that's what we wanted to do. Last, I'm just going to put my main function in here. So I'm opening up an instance of my class bell and then saying go ahead and check payment. And then right after that, I would actually put in make payment as well as another function. So we're just going to run this again. And so there you see it actually picked the credit card. It's putting in all the relevant details and then it's going to go ahead and hit continue and then finally pay it uh, with the credit card that I have on file. And if I want to change my credit card, I can just reference the secrets.py file. And just to give you some insight in terms of what the secrets.py file should look like, very simply just write down the variables that you're going to be calling. So username in this case, whatever your username is going to be in password, your credit card, uh, CCM in this case stands for the month that it expires. This is the year and this is that security code and then your name that would be on the credit card itself. So there's many ways you can build this bot, uh, but this is a very fun project to build it this way. Um, and if you do use this, these credentials for other bills, it's nice to put it in a secret.py because then you can just pay like your other utility bills or whatever other bills you may have if you share some of these common things. If not, you can still go ahead and reference things like the credit card, but if you wanted, you can go here and add things like, you know, utility uh, username or something like that and just reference that, um, but everything else stays the same. So that's why I like putting things in a secrets.py file and always, always remember, never share this file ever. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. However, let's talk about some other use cases that you can have with bots and Selenium in general. So obviously you can build other bots and that includes things like reminder bots to remind you to take your medication or to remind you to pick up groceries. You can also send auto birthday messengers. So I am horrible when it comes to remembering people's birthdays and I know there's other automation frameworks out there as well but this is a great way to do it as well and you can loop in other types of tools as well like messenger applications so that it's almost like you're starting a chat rather than just sending an email which sometimes can be a little impersonal. The other thing is you can look at web scraping. So I've actually put a video up on web scraping with Selenium. I will link it above and down below so be sure to check that out as well. You can also use NLP and build chatbots. So this is a great application just because of the power that Selenium has. The ability to actually integrate natural language processing in this and then actually actually return messages back and forward uh, so that you can actually have conversational AI type capabilities built in, which is very cool as well. You can build Instagram bots. So there's a lot of different 
frameworks out there. A very popular one is called Instapy, which is basically an Instagram bot. Uh, check it out. It's actually a pretty cool framework. The other thing you should know about things like Instagram and WhatsApp is they're going to be, I believe, suspending their API access. So your best way to interact with their backend is going to be through automation frameworks like this. So it's good to learn it if you're in the market to learn this. You can build automations with dating apps. I've seen online people building Tinder applications where it just auto swipes and matches you and all this other kind of stuff. Hey, if that's your thing, go for it. And then when you think about this more from a professional standpoint, you know, you can build a lot of automation workflows, whether that be pulling information from websites or other sources that are sometimes unconventional or difficult to pull from and then and combining it together and doing a whole bunch of cool stuff with it a lot of cool possibilities so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please consider liking and subscribing and i will see you next time thanks very much bye bye